Hey, Junior. Hey, how's it going, Big D? Good, man. Doesn't it feel good to be out in the outdoors again? Oh, yeah. It's kind of an interesting night. We were just, we got home from work and school, and we are just sitting there chatting and decided, man, let's just get in the outdoors. Let's go hang out outside. It's a beautiful night out. So we just drove down the road. We got a local community pond right down the road here and got plenty of ducks swimming around. So we were listening to some ducks uh, and taking some pointers for some duck calling uh, while we're hanging out here. Got some folks walking around. You might hear some people in the background, but. We just wanted to welcome you out, welcome you out to another video by uh, SOS Shorty Outdoor Suggestions uh, and Gear Review. We're just hanging out here at our man blind tonight and uh, chilling out, enjoying the weather. So thought we'd get off the couch, get outdoors, and just come out and hang out. So, but Cody and I, or Junior and I, were talking actually just recently, and we were talking about a recent hunt that we had. It was an early money morning hunt. And we woke up, we got going, it got all loaded up, and I put on my, my headlamp, and what happened, Junior? Oh, it was dead. <laughs> he couldn't see anything. He was following behind me the whole walk out so he could see where he was going. Yeah, I had to stay pretty close, and that wasn't very enjoyable. So lesson learned, if you watched our previous video on the Possibles bag, we actually had a lot of good stuff in there to make sure you take with us. We got ours with us tonight. But one important item we added into it is some batteries backup batteries for your headlamp. You never know when you might be without, so be sure and take those. I mean, it was it worked out all right, but uh, definitely nice to have a backup plan. So, One of the first things we thought we'd share with you tonight, we were thinking about that, with putting in the extra batteries in our Possibles bag that was in our floating blind bag, and thought let's head out to the pond and, and shoot another video for you guys and give you some information on some other gear that we use and give you some suggestions for the outdoors while you're duck hunting. One of the first things, Junior, oh, most important thing, this is our snack. So this is what we take out. Um, it is crackers with cut up pieces of summer sausage and cheese. Uh, this is really nice. You can go cracker, meat, cheese, and another cracker if you want. It's really good. Sandwich style, right? <laughs> yeah. It's really good because it's a good snack to for breakfast or a snack or to get you up. And the meat with the protein and the salt gives you a little energy for the day. So great snack. Obviously, you got your water bottle, your smart water bottle. <laughs> Make sure you got that right. So uh, before we get div diving into the bag too much further, um, just tell us, a little, we wanted to look up and give you some of the dimensions on the bag so you kind of have an idea of that. And uh, what do we got on the dimensions there, Junior? So this is Avery floating blind bag. Um, the dimensions, it is 17 inches long by 10 inches wide and 10 inches tall. Can you and, get it? Yeah, and then it has nine, yeah, it has nine storage compartments in it with 900 inches of storage space. There we go, Avery, floating blind bag. Nice job. So one of the first things we always keep right on the bag there so it's ready to go is the Avery. <laughs> it is an Avery lanyard. This is their flambo one. This is a really nice lanyard. I love this it's lanyard. It's actually their power lanyard. Power lanyard. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> So this is their power lanyard. It is really nice. It has a neoprene on the end of it with felt on the inside. It makes it really comfortable to wear around your neck. It has two O-rings up here and then it has three drop rings. And you can get these attachments or your own, doesn't matter. It will clip onto the O-rings and it runs off with two pieces of rope that go into loops. So that, that can slide around over your duck call and make it stay on the lanyard. It's nice to have all your duck calls right there ready to go. Yeah. Different birds coming in, goose coming by we want to bring in, so you got to have it all accessible and ready to go. Yeah, so Power lanyard by Avery, great choice. Yeah. Well, let's bust into our bag here. Like they said, there's a lot of Velcro uh, options here. We got some pouches up front. Uh, we got some little things in. Uh, one of the first things I wanted to point out that I don't see a lot of hunters have with them. They might look it up before they go, and we're always wondering which was the for sure time we can start hunting, but. One of the things I like to keep in here is every year I try to get the uh, waterfowl guidebook. Cody, what are a couple things in this guidebook that's good for us to know or have accessible to us when we're out on the hunt? Yeah, so this book has all the shooting times start, like when the time starts to shooting, and it has all the ending times when you can't shoot and beyond that. It has every date for the entire season where you can hunt ducks, swan, geese, and dove, and it also has identification pages. I think it's towards the back here a little bit further actually. Yeah. So these, this is just a bunch of photos of all the birds that are out there. It's really nice because it has every bird that's around and it has a photo of it so you know what it looks like. So if you shot a bird and you're going to it and you pick it up, you're like, what kind of bird is this? Turn to your book and find it really quick and easy. 
So there you go. Make sure you got your guidebook. Pick it up at your local uh, outdoor store. Um, and then we got the uh, steel ring waterfowl. Oh, bird, tote. yeah. This is their bird tote that they sell. This is a really nice bird tote because you slide the head of the duck through, and then the neck will just slide down, and it'll lock down here. You can have multiple birds, anything that you can put on it. It'll stay locked in place. And it's really nice. It's neoprene, and it has softer padding on the inside, so you can put it over your neck or over your shoulder or however else you want to put it on. It has a clip on the top. Hook it on something, it's really nice. There you go, carry out all them birds that you shoot. And one of the little pockets here, uh, we definitely wanted to make sure we got our choke tool with us. And we got our different uh, choke tubes, uh, different styles of chokes, depending on the distance we're shooting and what we're shooting. We got a few of those in here that we bring out with us. Oh, this is a different one. We don't always see this in other hunters' bags. What's that? So this is just Walmart trash bag. No doggy food. <laughs> so it is a really good bag if you have trash or shells or anything else that you drop out there that you want, you want to pick up because we want to keep our outdoors clean and preserve them so they can be just as good as they were and make us like they'll ever be and it's really good to keep one of these with you. There you go. Got the carabiner, extra one, never know when that can come in handy so you want to make sure you got one of those and every once in a while you might have a, a decoy uh, lose its uh, line and weight. So we try to keep a few of these extra ones with us. There's one specifically to show you. Uh, there's some of the stuff out of our pockets. Important stuff out on this outside pocket here is our shells. Really like the fast steel, uh, precision seals by Kent. By Kent. Uh, we've had some pretty good success with those on our hunts. And so there's some sh shells for you. Here's the trusty possibles bag right on top. So we got it Ziploc. We can dive right in. Be sure and go to catch our previous video. It'll cover everything in the possibles bag. More importantly, the reason we thought to get our blind bag out, blind bag out today was to throw in those extra batteries. So they're definitely in there and ready to go. So, couple hats. What's the right type of material in that hat? That's a bandit hat. Yeah. So polyester, really good, and as well as fleece because cotton. What does cotton do that? Cotton kills. Cotton kills, which it's a statement saying because cotton soaks up like water or anything gets onto it, it'll soak it up and it'll get a lot colder a lot quicker and that's a really thing, big thing on hypothermia. Yeah, so be sure and look up uh, Banded uh, online and go get you your polyester hat. I always like to also have a brimmed hat with me when I'm out. If it's not that cold, uh, I want to keep the sun off my eyes and stuff, I'll de definitely make sure and get me the baseball style camo hat and have a couple hat choices with me. Now when we get going out on the hunts, every time we go, first thing in the morning we stop at the local convenience store and get some what? Hot chocolate. And it's stored by Stanley, Stanley. since 1913, the trusted uh, thermos. So this is a really nice thermos. It has a lock, a little lever lock on the back. You can push it and then flow out of the top. It's really nice because if you throw it in your bag or into a bucket that we have, uh, it's really nice. You just throw it in and it won't leak anywhere. Just keep it really tight. It's really good. Keeps it nice and warm for those cool morning hunts. Speaking of cool mornings, this is a little hand warmer that I like to hook onto my uh, waders that holds my shells. Got a couple pockets in it. You'll notice one thing different than a lot of people will have on theirs attached to it is uh, this watch. One of the things I like to do in our guidebook, either the night before or the morning of, we'll try and check shoot times when we can start the shoot. Set up the alarm on here so it's ready to go. And that way I'm not taking my cell phone out and looking at it and watching for the time and the alarm on it. I don't, the less I have that out of my pocket, the better. So we try to keep our cell phones put away. In fact, a buddy of ours, what happened to him? <laughs> he was out and he dropped his cell phone in the water and blood. <laughs> we don't know it. where it ended up. It just kept going deeper and deeper. We never found it. Had to get a new cell phone. So speaking of cell phones, we got a little something here. You can pick up your local Walmart. What's that all about, Code? Or this Junior? Is, this is just a waterproof case. You, use, you can throw a wallet, phone, anything you want to keep dry little fit. Throw it in here, close it, lock it closed. So now it's 100% waterproof. It has a nice clip on it for you hook it on something exterior or interior. Just anything. It goes perfect because a lot of these pockets in here have clips for this in the Avery blind bag. Yep, you just put it right in there. Also, the other thing I wanted to point out before we move on, we got some hand warmers in here. I always keep one set in there ready to go for me so I can just bust them and go. The other thing I like to keep in here is my knife. Um, and what I like to do is just slide my knife right out and then I'll kind of zip it shut, keep my case in there. And you'll notice I've got my, uh, it's actually my duck decoy line here. 
and tied it off on this so that as I'm working or doing something, if I happen to slip and drop, or if this slips out of my hand and drops, I'm not going to lose it like our buddy did with his cell phone. Um, it'll be attached and then I can just slide it right back in the case and zip it up and we're ready to go. So there's a couple ideas uh, that you could go with. I uh, definitely recommend the watch though. Set that alarm because you want to be ready to go once the bird time start, or once the shoot starts. You want to be ready to go and just have the little alarm go off on your stopwatch there or your alarm and you're ready to go. You're not fumbling with your phone. So highly recommended. What do you got going on in here? So the binoculars really easy and nice because you want, sometimes when you see a bird, you don't know if you want to shoot or not, because certain birds can't shoot. So this is really nice before you're waiting for them to get close, they're flying in, you're getting ready to shoot. You don't have the time to think too much, oh, can I shoot those? You just want to be able, these are really nice because you can help pick them out further away, so you know if you can shoot them. And you know, sometimes, guys, it's just nice uh, to just be out there and watch the birds sometimes. It's not all about shooting all the time. And nice, sometimes it's nice just to sit down and watch some of the birds and identify them a little bit, you know, a little ways out. and watch the, their patterns and what they're doing and keep an eye on them. So it's good to have a little set of those in there. Oh, we got we brought the actual box on this this guy here, the thermocell. Tell us about the thermocell, Junior. So this is the thermocell. It is really nice. It'll keep all mosquitoes and bugs that are flying out and around, keep them away from you with a 15 by 15 foot area. So anything creates a really nice zone for you so you don't get bites while you're out. It's really nice, helpful. Saved our butts a lot. Yeah. You can just grab you a mosquito repellent here. Uh, 15 by 15 zone is what Junior said there from that mosquito protection is what they claim on it. I picked up a local Walmart but wanted to bring the box and show you. Uh, some of the things to keep in mind on this on this uh, thermocell is that it's got three mosquito repellent mats inside that come with it. Uh, each mat lasts about four hours. So depending on the time you're going to be out, you'll want to have a few extra mats in your bag as well. And for sure some butane cartridges that fit in here. As you go check them out online, you'll see the little butane cartridges that slide inside of this guy. And the butane cartridges, they last a maximum of about 12 hours. So you got three mats and a butane, you're pretty much good to go. So you might want to have another three and a butane and a little Ziploc or something inside your bag just as a backup plan um, and make sure you got it. So it's a great uh, product to make sure you have out there with you. Definitely during the mosquito season, which it is right now. Actually, you can see some of them flying around us, so be sure and have that out. We should have turned it on. Yeah. <laughs> I think one of the last things we got to talk about is, uh, is this here, gloves. I'll tell you, we get out on some hunts and, man, you want to keep your hands warm and, more importantly, dry. I recommend a few sets of gloves when you go out. However, with that being said, Bandit's got a great glove. I kept the uh, tag off this last set of gloves we got here. And uh, they're a banded brand, and they're an insulated glove that's waterproof, breathable, and this is one of the warmest styles that they have. They can rate the different levels of warmth that the glove will offer you. And it's got a Prima Loft uh, insulation in it. And uh, what's nice about this is you got these gloves, and they're, they're pretty nice and warm, as I said. You can throw these on and adjust them here and get your coat down in there. But it's nice while you're hiking out. It's going to keep you warm and dry. While you're setting out your decoys, if you get a little wet, you're going to be dry. Uh, and while you're hiking out or retrieving your bird, maybe you got to get it out of the water if you're not lucky enough or fortunate enough to have a dog and got to get out there and get your own. But nice set of gloves, uh, great job by Banded uh, on that set of gloves. And I always have an extra set of gloves. These are water resistant gloves, nice and warm again. It's got the trigger finger on it that's really nice uh, so you can get in and out there pretty easily. So we recommend those as well. These actually are by uh, Mossy Oak. Uh, brand but a uh, nice set of gloves to have so there we are folks that's pretty much our bag and what we wanted to show you one other bag that we got if you just want to go out on a quick hunt or a guide maybe go out and guide a few folks out you're just going out for a couple hours or something this is called a guide bag by Avery as well what's the dimensions on this you have those yeah so maybe this... while you're pulling those up but this is by Avery as well and uh, he'll give you some of the dimensions on this bag. It's a nice little bag though as well by Avery. Yeah. Another option. Yeah. So this bag is the extent, expandable guides bag. It has 650 cubic inches, but has the capacity to expand another 150 inches. Dimensions, it is 13 inches long, 5 inches wide, and 10 inches deep. Deep. Yeah. There we go. So there you go. You can kind of see you got quite a few compartments on there. Some nice stuff here that you can get in, some shell holders and everything, and nice adjustable strap on that. It's nice you can just kind of throw this on if you're out for just a quick hunt, 
and uh, keep some of the important things that you need just for a real quick hunt out for a few hours and back. Um, but it's more like a guide bag is what they refer to it as at, at Avery. It's nice just as like a sling. You can sling that around on your shoulder. So anyway, sun's getting ready to set here and, and uh, we better uh, consider packing up and getting home, getting some dinner on the stove for mom. See if we can't help her out tonight. She's out and sis is out and so we decided to come over and hang out and spend a little time out at the uh, local pond. So be sure and uh, check us out. Shorty Outdoor Suggestions, SOS, Gear Reviews. And uh, be sure and like us, subscribe to us, comment, SOS to us, send us an SOS. And if you have any questions or suggestions or comments, uh, be sure and put them out there. And uh, we got some great things coming up in the future with some other products and exciting outdoor activities that we're going to be doing. And just giving you some suggestions on some things we found or are doing and hopes that it might help you out as you enjoy your outdoor experiences as well. So be sure and tune in next time. And Enjoy your night. Let's go get some dinner, huh? Sounds good. All right.